you've probably been told to work on projects if you wanted to break into cybersecurity. But as a beginner, you might not know what to expect from a project, and you might have some questions like, what makes a good project? Does it have to be technical? And do you need a full lab setup? Well, in today's video, I am going to walk you through what a project might look like, in my opinion, why it matters more than you think, and how to create one that helps you stand out, even if you're just starting out. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hello, my name is Steven, and I've been working in cybersecurity for about nine years now, mainly within the security operations domain. On this channel, you'll find videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC-related projects that you can tackle and put onto your portfolio. With that being said, let's talk about cybersecurity projects, what makes them valuable, and what you should aim for as a beginner. Here's something that I wish more beginners understood. A good project isn't about complexity, it is about clarity. You don't need to build a brand new threat hunting platform from scratch or reverse engineer the latest malware to impress hiring managers. What you do need is a clear demonstration of how you think, how you problem solve, and how you communicate your findings. Let's say you investigate a suspicious login event from your lab environment and you write a short report explaining what triggered the alert, what logs you looked at, what you found, what actions you take next, and your recommendations. That to me is a pretty good project in my opinion, and to a hiring manager, that's extremely valuable because you're showing them that you're already thinking like an analyst. Most beginners think that they need to wait until they are ready before sharing anything. But the truth is, small, well-documented projects are far more impressive than waiting to build something perfect. Let me give you a few examples of simple projects that show real-world skills. Simulate a phishing attack using Microsoft Defender or a test email. Then walk through how you would investigate it. Use the MITRE ATT&CK framework to map an alert to a known technique and explain your reasoning. Spin up a lab and use Atomic Red Team to simulate threat actor activity and see what kind of telemetry that generates. Then create a detection rule that will alert you on it or practice writing incident summaries using real-world breach reports as your reference. These don't require years of experience. They require structure, curiosity, and follow-through. And when you document what you've done clearly, you're not just telling people <laughs> what you know, you're actually showing them how to apply it. And that will separate you from the other entry-level candidates. Now, what makes a project good? It's not about the size or complexity. A good project answers three questions. What problems were you trying to solve? How did you approach it? And what did you learn or recommend based on the outcome? If your project walks someone through that journey, even if it's just one page, it is doing its job. So you don't need to make it super complex. And here's another tip. Put your project in a format that is easy to share because visibility matters. If no one sees your work, it's gonna be hard for it to help you. But when you do package it on, let's say, GitHub or LinkedIn or whichever platform you choose, it becomes a conversation starter. And sometimes, even the reason someone reaches out to you for an opportunity. So if you are wondering whether to start a project or not, please, <laughs> just start one. Pick something small, follow it through, and write about what you did, and share it. That consistency is what builds confidence. skills and eventually interviews. As I mentioned earlier in the video, my channel has a bunch of SOC related projects that you can tackle if you aren't sure where to start. And that is it for the video and thank you for watching. If you found this informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.